Scotland resumption of the Premier League. It's been worth the six-week wait, hasn't it, uh, to get it back? Still one more game to go. It all began with those four goals between Brentford and Spurs. Then the victories for Fulham, late on for Wolves, convincingly for Newcastle and for Brighton and for Liverpool and for the leaders, Arsenal having gone behind. Uh, at home to West Ham United. And today we brought you Chelsea winning by two goals to nil at Stamford Bridge against Bournemouth. Manchester United going one better, three points and three goals against Nottingham Forest. And the first match week back is rounded off tomorrow at Ellen Road in Yorkshire as the champions Manchester City visit Leeds United. So Arsenal then with that seven point lead over Newcastle. Manchester City can reduce that uh, with a victory at Leeds tomorrow. Spurs just a point now ahead of Manchester United who have the game in hand as well. Chelsea earlier today up to eighth onto 24 points level with Brighton. After yesterday's results, Wolves were off the bottom with that late winner at Goodison Park in the 95th minute. It is Southampton who prop at the table. Uh, Nottingham Forest couldn't make any further ground with that 3-0 defeat. They're locked on 13 points with Wolves in the drop zone. Everton and West Ham are just a point above the bottom three. And they did the damage in that first half and we'll have a look at it again because that first goal beautifully finished from Marcus Rashford have you seen a, a better well worked free kick so far this season? Well I think it's just come down to coaching you know X's and O's and I think sometimes we've seen a lot of great set players I think this season Tottenham in particular but this one from Man United is, is, is fantastic there you know we've got Marcus Rashford highlighted at the top there Ericsson going to take the corner but Bruno Fernandes is, is, is the one that's going to walk over into the shot and, and, and just have a little chat with, with Christian Eriksen there. And initially you think he's going to come over for the short corner, but actually he decides to make his way into the box and he just tells Christian Eriksen, just wait there. You know, he's obviously going to go over into the, into the area where all the players are. And obviously this is a well-worked one. You know, they're trying to set up a little, a little block then, aren't they, right. to, to free Marcus Rashford, it's work that space. It's worked an absolute... Treat. I mean, it's one thing, mate, going on the training ground and, and setting these things up, but to get the timing right and to create the space like they do and for it to come off, the finish has to be there. Varane goes first, you've got Martial blocking. Varane, I think, makes that little initial run as if he's going to be the one they're going to play it to, but Rashford comes back towards his own goal to make the space look there, and he comes in free as a bird, and what a lovely finish. Doesn't try and hit it too hard, just strokes the ball and it's a wonderfully ex executed goal. How, how much work on the training ground would go into to putting a move into that, into practice yeah. in the play? Yeah, a, a lot, it would do. And, it, and it, it's about putting it in... You see, I've seen one that Chelsea, Chelsea did a similar one today, but the, the first man let it go through his legs and the second one came on in the door, I can't remember who it was, and he skied it over the bar. So for it to come off, you get all these free kicks you put in together and when they come off as a coach and, and, and your staff and the players, you can see how they celebrated. It was like a real collective. It brings the team really close together and the staff because you've worked at something, you know, on the training ground, a set play, there's nothing like it when it comes off. But a lot of it is also personnel. You know, you can do that with a Christian Eriksen because he passes the ball mm -hmm. with so much care. A lot of people would, because that's quite a long way to pass that ball, mm -hmm. a lot of people would hit that too hard and it'd bubble and it'd bounce. But because he, he hits it on the deck, it enables Marcus to make such an easy contact. Often you see that ball, don't you, Glenn? It, yeah. it bubbles in, but Christian but is such a great passer of the ball. I think with set plays nowadays, with pitches like this here, the surface is beautiful, you know, that on a bobbly pitch in the winter is, was tough on a, on, a, on a poor pitch, but that can be done. A lot of teams, that you've seen them do it. I mean, we, again, a lot of teams do that one where they shift, make the space, but it, it was lovely the way the balls come in there. But his execution was, was magnificent. OK, uh, we can talk to the Manchester United captain now, who was very much part of that free kick as well. Uh, Bruno Fernandes waiting to talk to us live from Old Trafford. Bruno, good to see you. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Um, how good does that feel, back with three points and three goals? Uh, obviously, it's really good. Come back to Old Trafford for the Premier League and win against a tough opponent. Um, I think performance overall was really good. The result, obviously, was, was fantastic. Now, we were just discussing that brilliantly worked free kick. Have you worked an awful lot as a team on, on that routine? What free kick? The corner, you mean? Sorry, the corner, yeah. Yeah, we, we work it in a different way, but obviously because they came to defend with a 2v2 on the corner, uh, I went away, 
the, I was supposed to be there. The corner was supposed to be in the same way, but uh, was no space. So I just make the run into into the box to block the man from uh, from Rashi. And what about the execution of it as well? Ah, obviously, fantastic. We all know that we have players on uh, that have the, the capability to do the pass as as Christian did, and obviously Marcos can finish. We know we know that he can score many many goals. So I think was was perfect work for him because he has the confidence, he has the shoot, he has the ability to do it, and uh, everyone knew it. If he had the chance, he will score. I Bruno, know it's it's Owen Hargreaves speaking. The one thing I was I wanted to ask you about was. Marcus, that, that finish he had, he, he actually didn't try and smash her and didn't hit it with power, did he? Often you see Marcus, he hits with, he wants to strike the ball so hard, that would just, he just gets it on target. And when he, when he seems to finish like that, it almost, it almost seems like it's always in the back of the net. Yeah, but Marcus has a, a, a natural strength, so he doesn't need to hit the ball so hard. He knows that, but sometimes, obviously, uh, if he hit it harder, is is also difficult for the for the keeper, but I think we trained it yesterday, and uh, he understood that was just a little flick on the ball, a little touch, and he could he could have a chance to score. Bruno, it's Glenn Hoddle here. Um, just want to ask you a question about the midfield. Do you feel now with Ericsson and, and Casemiro and yourself that 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 balance is looks it looks different to me? It's, it, it looks so balanced, and you've got every angle, every sort of style of play covered. Oh, I think I think it's a bit unfair to the the others one that are not playing at this moment because then they can have a good part in this team. Donny came on, did really well. Fred get his goal. Scotty today was not here because he was healed. But I think these three that mainly have been have been play, uh, they have such good qualities that can help the team. Obviously, different qualities than than us three that played start play today. Uh, but obviously, I think everyone is an uh, amazing player that can uh, can have a, a big, good part to help the team. And overall today, um, you've got the three goals, particularly Fred's one to put the icing on the cake. You've threatened that in many games this season, but you've done it comfortably again tonight. I think we could have done a little bit more comfortably because we had the chances. Probably the the shot or the last uh, last pass or something was... Not on point, but obviously three goals, three nil, uh, it's a perfect result. And just finally, Bruno, the games are coming thick and fast now. You've gone within a point of the top four, game in hand on, on Tottenham. Can this continue the momentum after the break? No, we have to focus uh, game by game. We know how tough is the Premier League. Um, we have to go away to Wolverhampton. That We know that they have a good team. I know them very well. Uh, they they probably speak more Portuguese than than our national team, so uh, it's, it's always a tough game against them. There, good qualities, uh, new coach. So we all know that whenever a new coach comes comes in, is uh, confidence. They they won in the last minute, so they will be they will be on fire. But I think this result can help us to have to have more confidence and understand to if we do what we have to do, we can win games. Very well played tonight. Thanks very much indeed again for joining us. Thank you very much. We're an excellent first 45 minutes for Manchester United. They lead Nottingham Forest by two goals to nil. We spoke uh, at length about Marcus Rashford and his confidence at the moment. Not only did he get a goal, but how well worked off the training pitch was that opening Yeah, goal. absolutely love this corner. And I think when you have somebody like Ericsson, um, he just gives a little hand signal. This is from the training ground, Glenn. And th this, is, this is great coaching, isn't it? It's, it's excellent, and, and when it comes off, there's nothing, there's no feeling like it, like a coach. And what a finish! But look at the two blockers, we've highlighted there. There's the run. The thing for me is, you see players run across the, the the area on this sort of training ground, sort of free kick square, make it very difficult for himself. Marcus Rashford goes first of all towards his own goal, so his body's now coming onto the ball, facing the goal. But what a finish. But the blockers, Martial and Varane, do a brilliant job of just creating that little bit of space for Marcus to get a shot off. And the thing that I love, he doesn't try and hit the ball too hard. Yeah, Marcus, lovely. sometimes he tries to smash the ball. All you've got to do is make good contact, the pace is on the ball. Brilliant goal. I love when Marcus plays like this because he's unplayable. And he's now into 10 goals in uh, all competitions this season. Double all of last season's total. Mm -hmm. Well, you, what did he say before the game? Ten Hag, he can, he get, can 20. get 20. Uh, I think he's right. You know, Marcus in this form, and we're going to see it on the second goal, when he's confident and making quick decisions, doing things quickly, honestly, I think he's unplayable. With his size and his speed and his ability to go both ways, he offers so much. 
Now, I know for the second goal, you both feel the goalkeeper should save it. But aside yeah. from that, mm -hmm. the team goal and oh. the way it came about, Glenn. Well, yeah, I mean, it's at one end that, that there's a possible foul here that is maybe held back. That's a good tackle for me. They hook it out and then they go straight direct in one pass forward. Next one over the top and look, a great run. This is what we were talking about before when he's running in behind defenders. A beautiful bit of skill. And that's why his, his confidence is up. It's a dreadful bit of goalkeeping. Hennessy will be dis disgusted with himself, really, at that level. There's the tackle Steve Cooper there. got a point there? Well, I think he's... Half a yeah, point. Half a point. He's played the ball. <laughs> if he doesn't get any touch on the ball, I think it's definite foul. But, uh, you know, this is wonderful. Wonderful play from United. And that's, how, that's the capabilities they've got. In a blink of an eye, they're at the other end of the pitch and they're scoring goals. But, Glenn, we said before the game, you know, Bruno Fernandes with that ball over the top, trust the guys to get you the ball. What mm. is Marcus three yeah. runs forward? Mm. Let the guys, Christian Eriksen, Bruno Fernandes, Pastor, get you the ball. They make great runs, yeah. and Marshall and, and Rashford are in a position to go and score. That's all they need them to do, put the ball in the back of the net, and it was a great goal. As midfield players, we used to say to our strikers all the time, give me pictures, yeah. make pictures, and the ball will be delivered. And that's exactly what they're doing. And that's, you, you touched on it before the game. They've got to make them sort of movements, particularly Rashford, because he's got that extra yard of pace on people. And um, I think it's wonderful that he's turned his game around this season. It was a, there was a stage this season where his confidence was so low, so low, he didn't know what he was going to do with the ball when he was receiving it. And now look at him, he's making them runs, he's chopping it back, he's laying it perfectly on, scores a great goal. It's wonderful to see a young player turn his game round so quick. He's not so young, he's 25, but fantastic. He's young to us. Um, <laughs> well, the baby here. Uh, what about the, the fright they got, Manchester United, right at the end of the first half? Eventually, VAR got the right decision? Yeah, they did. I mean, it's a good ball in from Renan Lodi. And to be fair, initially you thought it was a good goal, but uh, you see there, Bolly, he's, it, because it comes off him from the eights, he's, he's offside, you know, and I think United, um, mm -hmm. they've had some issues defending mm -hmm. set pieces so far this season, but they get a bit of good fortune there. But to be fair, Man United, they, they dominated that yeah. first half, and I think they would have been disappointed to concede a soft goal like that. Yeah, I think they've dominated, and it, I feel as if they're still only really in third gear. They've got a few more gears to go to if they need to. Forrest have got to get back in this game. The next goal, if there's going to be a next goal, it's got to be Forrest to make a game. But they were very unfortunate there. Bully doesn't really know he's offside, just following the ball in. It was very unfortunate for them. But if they score a goal, if they're getting this two, to 2-1, two, then anything can happen because, you know, United can be a bit nervous. They haven't tested that back four. That back four is, a, you know, Shaw's done a good job at the moment, but he hasn't really been tested, has he? But 2-1, that becomes a bit nervous. So, uh, but I think United, I think they'll have enough to go another gear. On the other side of the corner, you'd like to see United really go for the throat here and get 3-4? I'd love to. That's been the biggest issue, goal scoring. Obviously, the whole Cristiano Ronaldo, we spoke about that before the game. <laughs> now, but with Marcus Rashford and Martial, you know, that is, that's brilliant for them. But you'd love to see a few more goals. You know, there's, there's enough creators in there for more goals to come.